And what kind of patch can it be? For an, oh, it's gonna be the average thing that we try to nerf the six packs by nerfing the heaven bomber, right? Or just we're trying to nerf the six packs by nerfing the magic damage or the cooldown on helicopter, right? No, 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 no. This kind of nerf and buff is this kind of patch, I should say, is different to the others before. This is a patch that I was complaining, bragging, whining, uh, put in the verb that you want to use. For a while, I was whining about this since September. And actually, let's start with the end. In fact, they nerfed the legendary Panda Invitation, so no more Round 3 Devastator in the game. Oh hell yeah, why did it take it so long? Oh my god, I cannot believe that they were like actually believing that it was good for the game and after like seven months they're just realizing that okay it's not good we should just nerf this this uh uh like a value from 20 percent other race which is deployed to zero basically they're taking away anything else spawning but pandas so from now on we will be able to spawn only pandas and the pandas are adjusted as well basically the pandas are if we have to calculate this one 12 percent was panda one previously right uh, and it was 80 percent right so from now on it will be 100 percent and 10 percent chance so whole 10 percent was uh is is now effective right uh, for the pandas uh, but it was only the four fifth of the 12 percent previously and if i'm not mistaken is actually 9.6 so instead of 9.6 you have a slightly better chance right now uh it's 10 flat 10 percent chance to to get panda with panda one and it won't be like an eager stranger it won't be granny devastator or heli it will be a panda and nothing else can it be what is up with the panda 2 with the panda 2 we had previously 25 percent which was at uh, 80 percent so if i detract the 20 percent from the 25 that means that 20 percent is five percent it's easier to uh, detract here it's 20 percent flat 20 it was so actually it should stay the same as it was previously so a slightly buff for panda one to get pandas uh luckily a very good nerf to the panda to invite anything else but pandas which was br breaking the game time after time like getting the sacred i think my record was getting a round five scryer if i'm not mistaken or did i get a round five round four devastator as well i don't know but uh it was just punishing it was just punishing and especially with the late uh six max synergy like uh six mac uh uh Six pack got really strong with the availability uh, because of Gem Artisan, and six get uh, six pack got really strong as well with the with the ban system because uh, if actually the two max are in there and the others are banned, you have a higher chance to roll uh, from the five cost units uh, uh, max. So it is uh, it was it was uh, the ban system was a buff for the max. The uh, Gem Artisan was a huge buff for the six max. And this is, I think, one step to the right direction. Finally, after seven months. Thank you, Drado. Finally. After selling out some juicy mech pieces, mech uh, chest uh, skins, now you are finally taking one step to the right direction and just uh, uh, nerfing out this thing. What about the Panda 3 synergy? At the beginning of the round, there is 25 degrees to uh, 20 so as as uh we saw in the previous one this chance stays the same but and there is always a but 
the 50% got nerfed to 40. So actually we can uh usually Drodo can uh can uh like adjust things. This is why they call it an adjustment as well. Uh they are usually doing it like they are keeping on the two star when they are uh adjust uh chess piece. They're doing it that way that they usually keep the two star uh skill or uh, stats the same. They are buffing or uh usually the one star and nerfing the three star this is what they did to the heli i guess as well and uh, this is i think it's uh is the is the smallest nerf that you can do we, we saw these adjustments on the on the legendary max as well because they were spent right uh but here we saw it on a synergy so actually panda one got a buff a slight buff so 9.6 it was previously like uh a net net worth chance uh, and now it's 10 percent flat uh it stayed 20 uh it was 20 previously and it stayed 20 and the three on the three synergy is 20 but the 50 percent got nerfed to 40 so it's actually a nerf on the panda three so buff on panda one same on panda two nerf on panda three i'm very glad with it uh, having the jade in um we will talk about jade later a bit because actually the pandas got a nerf as well uh jade and amber but let's start from the beginning buff buff came in cave clamp four and six uh, i think drodo realized that with the withdrawal of uh, lava shaman we we said uh, goodbye to actually a really cheap uh, two cost unit right uh, which was used in the shaman synergy and which was used in the uh, very early k4 as well and with this the k4 actually got really really expensive and i haven't talked about uh cave six i haven't seen a lot of cave six i think after after the the withdrawal of or just the elimination of uh, lava shaman i think i played it once or something like that the cave clan four is very expensive because now you have only one one cost unit as you had previously two two costs not three two only so you cannot get the four really early in so one two two and the fourth should be a four cost unit either storm shaman or the new cave prodigy so uh you have to high roll them to go for a really early cave four which uh makes sense to buff it right if it's harder to achieve the later you will achieve the if you want to make it attractive to uh, for people to go for that then uh, later if if it will be used in the later game of course you have to buff it um, that's I think uh, a decent amount of buff but I don't think that will make uh, like k4 really attractive for everybody but always a but cave 6 got a huge buff in my opinion cave 6 uh the 600 hp as basic buff uh for the cave 6 was there it stayed the same but the 900 times the percentage got buffed by a third by a whole third and it's it's just epic i mean like buffing like 33 percent on that uh, imagine that that you can actually get uh, if you're like low hp let's say like 10 hp that means missing hp is like uh, 90 percent right so it's 0 0.9 if you're talking about 0 0.9 here that will be like 1080 plus 600 that's 1680 so basically more than 1600 hp buff after the 450 it's a huge one if you're talking about uh i think 100 400 hp is basically like uh, a two-star unit hp of course i'm not talking about legendaries but we're talking about like like definitely two-star or three-star units worth of uh hp and this amount of hp is basically the step that they are stepping uh usually when when pieces are like upgrading themselves from one to two and two to three they are just duplicate or uh, duplicating or just uh, doubling up the 
the stats they have. So they're doubling up the damage, they're doubling up the HP uh, that they have. And now they're, of course, increasing linearly the, the damage that they do to the other chess player. Uh, exception, there are some exceptions. For example, Gem Artisan is increasing her, her HP linearly. So Gem Artisan from 2 to 3 star is not doubling up the HP, but it uh, gets amount of HP that she has on one star. I guess this is uh, like a balancing stuff for the extra three star gem artisan that you are actually getting uh, because that, that has HP as well and that will ha that would have like a huge HP buff if uh, that would have like a double uh, of the gem artisan to HP. But this is a very, very big buff in my opinion. Basically they gave you free like 250 hp plus for this uh cave six i definitely think that cave six will come back uh especially with the prodigy uh summons i think cave six with legendary um band system and legendary place with the prodigy uh invitation will be a real thing uh definitely think that we will see tons of prodigy twos Race effect, B6 got an extra one point buff on the extra physical damage, guess what? I guess they are just uh, want to keep uh, 6 beast up there in the top builds. As soon as it, as soon as beast drops out from top 5 or top 6, they are just buffing it back up. As soon as uh, beast is too strong and it's in the top 3 or top 2, they are just nerfing it out. Um, this is how it goes, beast got I think in the... In the last i don't know 15 or 20 patches i'm pretty sure that almost every single patch was dealing with beasts if not at, at least 60 percent uh, of the patches was dealing with beasts either buffing or nerfing it so uh yeah but here's the thing what i didn't understand 60 curses got a buff i mean uh, I, I i i can accept it that 60 curses was not played by a lot of people but actually i thought that 60 curses with the four second survivability with uh, a decent carry which has speed like dk or like uh dwarf uh was a decent amount and it didn't need a buff i think right now 60 curses should be a go-to 60 curses will be back and i think i will be playing much more hunter i mean usually i'm playing hunters as well i'm not afraid of hunters because six hunters is a very good uh and a decent uh, uh like a mid game uh, build in my opinion uh usually it was it was easily available uh in the past few uh weeks as well uh, but I usually went for Beast because everybody was contesting for the Wizards, for the Nine Mages, for the Nine Feathered, for the for the Max, right? So, so I had basically open Knights or open Beasts usually, and I I went for them. I played much more nice in the uh, past few weeks than I think I've ever played. So yeah, definitely. And I played less God God games uh, because of the buff of uh, God of War. But God of War is really really good now. Uh, so I think uh, now the God of War change uh, to Zeus is not that obvious. I mean, if you don't have a lot of mages which are doing uh, a lot of damage, I don't think that you or somebody else is not having a sacred land. So you don't need that uh, uh, like extra magic damage that Goddess can give you and. Uh, and that uh, imprisoning, right? What is her skill? But we are talking about six figures now. So from four point four, from four point zero to four point five, uh, zero point five second increase on survivability is basically uh, if you have a carry, one more hit, if not two. One more hit, if not two. If you have a splitter which you, you usually will have because you will have a range carry with the eager assist, right? Uh, uh, expect if, uh, except if you're using it with knights, for example, a 6-6. Six, six. I haven't seen a lot of them uh, previously, but I can imagine that that uh, it will be back as well with this change. And um, that DK can actually bring you a, a draw. Or that DK can actually change that loss to a win. So I think this is a very good buff. And Kira 2. Um, as soon as I saw this buff with the 7 to 8 stacks, 
I I remember that there was actually a nerf when when there was so many like uh, Kira insects available all around the place that uh, they nerfed it from eight to seven. So they are buffing it back. And since insect wasn't out of meta too much, I think insect will be in the meta as well. So we will see some big. Uh, uh, big rebounds here and maybe it will be a much better um much better meta now with these guys available as well here we go nerfs two races i mean one race and one class is uh actually affected by this right but the nine feathered nerf with the recharge time four to five seconds is a joke it's ridiculous it's a nothing so imagine that you have tons of hp on your sage you are playing nine feathered and you have instead of four now you have a five seconds cool back cool down on that illusion right basically for five seconds that illusion won't die so it doesn't matter if you have four or five seconds cooldown, the illusion won't die. If you have the 60% chance to cast another illusion after the cooldown, I mean, what if what if it cannot like recharge? If you if you kill the kill the illusion in like three seconds or four seconds, it will auto attack like three or four times, but it will again cast one more illusion so this is actually like uh if you're talking about it like um there was like 20 uh, under 20 seconds there was available six casts right because after the 20th seconds you can cast again now this one is nerfed to five i don't think it's a huge nerf it will affect the feathers, but this is not a nerf. If we have, if we should nerf the feathered, we should nerf the nemesis, which caused the whole thing, and that was decrease the chances of uh, the evasion. They got like sixty percent out of nowhere, and for no reason. I think Drodo should have should have decreased this, uh, should have increased this recharge time for sure. This cooldown is very good to have, but Drodo should have decreased the chances of uh, getting the evasion because that would be the direct nerf to the feathered and right now when people were playing either a feathered nine or mage nine or uh, max six i think we needed a much radical step and uh, i don't know if they made radical steps to the pandas they touched the panda come on man why can't you just nerf the Feather 9 like properly? I haven't played one single game, but I can tell this is not a nerf. This is not a nerf. This is nerf for the stats that you can actually list this here as a nerf. Of course, it's, it's nerf for a stat, but it's not like a really effective nerf. If you really wanted to nerf it out, you should have decreased the chances of evasion. This is a direct nerf what 9 Mage got. Like uh, all other NPs lose 105% and that was decreased to 95 magic resistance this one here is like a a very good nerf of course they cannot like uh, really nerf anything else i mean the freezing action that nine mage has is uh, directly in uh, relation with the da uh, magic damage that they are causing to you of course when when like a, a thunder spirit is just alting or a tort is alting and it freezes the whole board for you um, it will freeze them for less amount of time now because they won't have that amount of magic uh, magic resistance decrease uh, that they previously had. The question is if this uh, this is like less than 10 percent uh, uh, nerf, is it going to be enough or not? Uh, consider that actually feathered got like a ridiculous nerf. This is not a nerf. I don't think so. I definitely think that since the since people have uh, the ref, the reflexes still in their hands, I think this season will end with Feather Nine and Mage Nine 
uh, uh, like spam everywhere still maybe we will see more feather knight now that mage got a direct uh, nerf but oh god i haven't played a lot of nine mages i i don't know if mage nine will be contested now with uh with god mages again or not with the uh buffed uh, god of war or not we'll see i guess but feather nine is definitely there and since feather nine is still available i think we will see some people going the same way down and uh they will just collect the early grim touch they will go win whatever you get basically shining archer is a, a bridge character a bridge champion so you can go for it it has magic uh, magic damage so you can use it in nine mage as well you can use it in feather nine of course it's a base uh basic uh a very very uh like uh a standard piece in that build and uh, of course it will combine with uh, Grim. so if you have the Grim, if you have the nine effect you can put in shining archer in nine feather and in nine mage as well so it will be working but the interesting stuff is coming here the interesting the more 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 interesting stuff jade got a nerf jade got not a huge nerf they thought that actually j2 doesn't need a nerf and since we know that J2 is ridiculously OP, in my opinion, they nerfed the J3 because since J2 was ridiculously OP, what can J3 be with three rocks? So yeah, it's still it's it's going to be still OP, I should say. They nerfed finally out the stuff that the pandas can invite really early legendaries. I really like it like shout out to to Drodo for this after seven months i should mention this but after seven months somehow somebody got the idea it's not a good thing to have run three devastator fine but now they have the jade channel there and the pandas can still reset on killing it, it, it doesn't matter that Amber and Jade is having like the most ridiculously OP skill ever uh, on, on in auto chess in general, I think. But they can reset their cooldown right away as soon as they kill somebody. And I realized that actually it's a good strategy to not flash Jade because it's just better to give him armor and let him fight it out in the first throw because you will have a higher chance to demolish the whole enemy team when they will lose some HP at least. So you should just let the team to just deal some damage to decrease the HP of the enemy in general. And in general, <laughs> I think won't solve a lot of, won't solve a lot of thing. J2 stays the same. J3 will be less effective, but J3 is like a ridiculously OP piece. It will be now less ridiculously OP, but still OP. And I still don't know why do we have to have two rocks on Jade 1. I honestly don't think why was that like reasonable. I think that like nerfing the two second uh, stun to 1.5 is reasonable. I first of all i don't think that it should have been uh it, it, it had to be uh two seconds in the first or the first second so it, it it was a mistake to release this piece like this but it should be like even less than 1.5 i think one is is fine if 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 jade one is getting two rocks one second stun is i think fine and it would be like a like a very good piece which can be like reaching its peak with the two two star and after that if you cannot three star it it's not not that bad but uh but not that great at one star and i think that was that would be fine so i think this one won't change anything uh the jade one is is uh, understandable the j3 won't be changing too much amber blade got a nerf Ability cast point. I don't even know what that stat means. I don't even know what that stat means. Ability cast point. I would say that 
it's like how long it lasts to cast the ability or something something like I, I don't know it, what was taking him like 0 0.5 seconds to 0 0.6 seconds that's a good question I think it's basically the uh, the the length of the ability casting but if it's going to be from 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 I wouldn't say that it's a nerf because it's like almost like zero change like we are talking about 0 0.1 second literally and that guy is invulnerable and it's uh invulnerable anyways while casting so it doesn't matter i think this one is just for the stats the hp decrease the hp decrease is like 50 and scaling up of course so that's that's fine i think Mm, I think Amber Blade One was squishy, anyways. Amber Two can work, can work, but only with the well, uh, well-built equipment. This guy can work without equipment as well, basically. And I think this is the most disturbing in Jade. But Amber Blade is definitely needs some synergy uh, boost and uh, some uh, some well-built equipment. Yeah, and of course it's it's reset. Of course, Amber is still a panda, so it will reset. So. We cannot get rid of that, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm even surprised that they got rid of the legendary invitations. However, max chest pieces, look at this. Reduced base HP regeneration of max from 5, 10, 20 to 5, 5, 5. So another bad try to fix 6 max from Drodo. And Drodo believes that it's a good way to solve the issue which the which is caused by basically being really easily available. I mean the 6 Mac is really easily available because we have now a regular 3 cost Mac unit, a gem artisan. They they wanted to fix it by nerfing out the Heaven Bomber previously and the Deva and the heli they just adjusted some cooldowns or maybe maybe some even magic damage but not that much now they're trying to like uh mess with the mech synergy by decreasing the hp regeneration which is i i still don't think it's a huge issue the huge issue is is actually that even with the uh nerfed panda invitations that you cannot get like really early devastator from now on you still can lose streak into six max for 20th you still can lose streak into six max uh, on 20th and you still can get a free roll on creeps on creeps you can beat up the creeps and you will get a golden heart and if you can get a golden heart and you can two star your max then it's just rolling so this thing, this nerf, won't stop the max from snowballing. And this is a missed, uh, missed uh, nerf again. I think this is here again just to show that they are actually caring about the thing. But I don't think that this is a decent nerf. I th If I have to uh, laugh on the three nerfs. So actually Feather 9, Mage 9 and Max uh, got nerfs. If I have to call out the most reasonable nerf, that's 9 mage. 9, 9 mage is a very direct, very obvious nerf. I think 9 mage was the most broken uh, in between these two. But Feather was basically not nerfed. And Mac, uh, here they don't even touch the problem. So the availability is still there. I think there are some very good ways to adjust this thing. Like... Um, I would see if they would have the guts to like withdraw one very cheap uh, goblin mech unit, for example. That would be very interesting. The other thing would be um, actually just making gem artisan more uh, expensive. Just, just step it up. Make it like forecast unit. And uh, 
it will be less available it will be not that easily available and you will have to grind for it it won't change a lot that will be a really small change but at least it would nerf the uh, the biggest issue with the whole build which is availability but this one is not nerfing that one this one is just nerfing something that is not an issue in my opinion and yeah the the hero of the day is is this uh basically so no more Deva 3, no more Deva uh, round 3, no more Granny round 5 or something like this. Uh, no more Scry round 5, no more Sacred in round 3. And uh, Panda 1 got a buff, uh, Panda 2 stayed the same, and Panda 3 got a nerf. I think this is reasonable. So, this is it. Balance changes as it is for today. So I'm really, really excited about this stuff, how it works, and I'm really excited about the meta, how it will uh, unfold, and what will be the trends. But. Uh...